Well, here we're going to find the area of a regular hexagon with a given side. In our example, we'll use something easy, 10 centimeters. Huh. What could go wrong? Well, you've learned in this section that the area of a, any regular polygon, 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. And um, yeah, let's see. Well, and you know, well, in this case, well, I got six of these. Six tens is 60, so I guess all we need is the apothem, and we're done. But that's where all the work is. So um, let's have a look at this picture. As we would with any regular polygon, we'll find the central angle by dividing the 360 by the number of sides, n. And, um, well, let's see. I mean, I could draw the rest of the radii. And then I've got this triangle down here. Well, um, I'm going to take that triangle. I'm going to split it in half. I'm going to split it in half with the apothem because we know that the apothem is an angle bisector. It's a perpendicular bisector. All those things we learned in Chapter 5. And that's going to make for us that beautiful 30-60-90 triangle. And we know what to do with our 30-60-90 triangle, don't we? Let's make a little room over here. And we'll zoom. Wah! Okay, we're going to enlarge it over here. So I can put in my ratio of my sides. It's as easy as 1, 2, radical 3. Now remember, I said the sides were all 10, right? Well, if the sides were 10, then I guess half the side is 5 in our example. Um, radius will be 10 as well. We don't really need that now, but, well, in case, in case we need it later on. Um, and most importantly, the apothem is going to be 5 radical 3. Hey, we're just about done. Well, um... All right, well, actually, I got lost a little bit here, so where, where am I? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, I got to get rid of that. I'm going to go back to this formula, 1 half apothem times perimeter. And now I'm going to put in the 5 radical 3 for the apothem. And let's see how that shakes out. I got 150 radical 3. Well, that's pretty easy, so, um, well, can I, where's my calculator? Do I have a calculator? Let's try this out. Um, 150 times radical 3. There's my irrational number. That looks familiar. And that's going to give me a decimal of about 259 and 8 tenths if we're going to the nearest tenth of square centimeters. Oh, that's well good. So that's where we are now. And we say, all right. Um, well, that's one way to do it. Let's try another way. Let's... Um, Let's go back to our, our supplementary or auxiliary view here. And let's say we forgot about our 30, 60, 90. I know a lot of my students have. I'm going to go back to this. I know that B, the half side, is 5 centimeters. And now it's time for little Tommy Trick. Everybody loves Trick. You know they do. And um, I know that from here, this is my 30 degree angle, the opposite over the adjacent, that's the tangent. Tangent of 30 is 5 over A. Then we rearrange what we're doing there. Whoops, where did that go? Oh, here I am. Um, and that means that A is equal to 5 over the tangent of 30. Uh -huh. Is that looking familiar? Let's clean that up and just substitute into this equation now. Going back to area of the hexagon is 1 half apothem times perimeter. I'm going to put in 5 over the tangent of 30. You tell me if you see a difference. Well, I can clean this up a little bit because I can do this. I can take, you know, I could take the 60, half of 60 is 30 times 5. You know, you know what that is? That's 150. So let's take 150 and divide by the tangent of 30. Let's see how that comes out. Let's compare. Um, well, that's what we got last time. So here we go. 150 divided by, let me take 30. Make sure you're in degrees. Tangent equals. Heavens to Mergentroids, it's exactly the same thing. Of course it is. These two expressions are the same. So right now you've got, whoops, I mean, you've got this and this. Ah, I said this and this. Um, same answer. Now, um, I, I think it's really cool if you can use the 30, 60, 90. Don't be a one-trick pony. Um, I mean, it's sometimes trig is good, but there's always a better way. Now... I saved the easiest way for last. Um, you probably noticed all these radii chop this hexagon 
into a series, or I should say exactly six equilateral triangles. So make up your own formula. Well, how about this? If the area of the hexagon is equal to, oh, typo, typo, let's change that, in, to exactly six equilateral triangles, then, and we know that an equilateral triangle is s squared over four radical three, you remember that? Well, I hope your teacher told you that. Then all I gotta do is multiply by that. If I've got six of them, well, or I've got six divided by four or three halves, let's take s, let's, let's square s. Well, I square 10, I get 100, now three halves of 100, yeah, you got it, it's exactly 150. So that looks familiar, that's what we got the first time. So look at that, this is, is a, finding the area of a regular hexagon, easy as one, two, three. You take your pick.